All right, welcome back, guys. <laughs> so I got baby face kiddo on the show. Yep. I don't know what day it is of quarantine. We have no uh, idea. Lost counts. The, the dispensary is now only delivered. Yeah, seriously. $150 minimum. So today we're gonna go through um, weed. Um, yeah. Yeah, terps. <laughs> because uh, Chris knows the ins bit. and outs of it, so he's gonna educate us on all the different breakdowns. I don't know what you even call it. Um, terpenes. Basically what the terpene is, is the flavor and or effect of the weed. Um, the reason you get high for so long, the reason you get sleepy, the reason you get hungry is because of terpenes. So. Okay. So wait, is the terpene just one thing out of it? No. Or is that what it's the overall? It, overall. So we're talking about the terpenes today? Yeah. Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, Are you gonna tell yeah, us yes, what's yes. in that? So this right here is sticky bee. We got seven in beta mercine, um, seven in pinene. Also, mean is two, right? Mercine, that's what gets you tired, sleepy, relaxed. Okay. Um, so that's an indica. Yes, okay. a lot of indicas. Pinene is actually for like bronchial disorders. Like if you hmm. have asthma, you smoke something with pinene. Corona, smoke. you smoke pinene. Yes, you do. Um, Osamine, not really popular. We don't give a fuck about that. Uh, <laughs> So the mercy, so what you basically want to do in terms of numbers is anything that's plus like three or more milligrams, that's when it's cracking. Okay. Do uh, you want see. to take that bad boy out? So what are we doing now? Shango Sticky? Yeah, Sticky B. Shango Sticky B. Mm-hmm. All right, so what's my highest? For THC, I know anything over like... 25 is high, right? Yeah, on yeah. weed? Yeah, on, but cool. on flour? Honestly, like, I've had some 22s that really smacked me. Well, I'm saying, like, that doesn't go really higher than that, right? Like, for what? the levels. So, what's the level on, like, mercy? And this is 7.47 milligrams. Yeah. So, what's the highest it can go? Oh, man. I've seen, like, 20s. 20s to, like, 40s. Just put you out. Damn. Mm -hmm. See, that's the kind of thing I want. I either want something. It's gonna keep me up and I can work and go to the gym and fucking. That's why I like sativas. Uh, pinene. Wait, so what's the. Oh, so I like the pinene? Okay. Pinene and caryophyllene. What that's the for you. fuck? Caryophyllene? Mm -hmm. That's not even on this list. It's not. It's not. Oh, check the other one. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that's why. So I'm... would you categorize this in the. I know you don't believe in hybrid sativa and indica anymore. Um, even though I strongly do. Hybrid. Um. <laughs> What would you categorize as that in my language? Yeah, I would say hybrid based off the fact that mercy is at seven and pinene is both at seven. So like Okay. So it's not like an indica dominant hybrid because it's kinda of even. I'd say right in the middle. Okay. Interesting. Now I know. I I mean I'm a big person that goes by smell. That's why I love the cannabiotics, La Orange and Tropicana, because they just smell amazing. Yes. Any type of citrus one I love. I don't know how I feel about those papers. They taste funny, right? Yeah. Well, they're minty, mint wraps. I I no tobacco. Give it a six out of six out of ten. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Six out of ten. I don't think it deserves more than six that. Six out of ten. So wait, so this other one, Hawaiian sativa. See, this already sounds great. So th what brand was this? Um, Shango. That's the name of the weed company. company? Yeah. Okay, Shango, and then this is Solaris. Yes. All right. So Shout tell me about Solaris. this one. Um, regular sativa the company's pretty cool they're pretty new they're like the new boys on the block well it sounds oh like... no the mercy is 10.5 okay the terpinaline is like l point whatever the fuck and caryophyllene is one so mercy that 10 and it's a sativa like that also happens a lot which is really weird because mercy is for sedative but it's like what the fuck I really, I mean, I like, I like the um, wild gummies. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm dying again. Um, yeah, I know, right? Uh, wild. Yeah, they're super soft. Like, they're yeah, so they don't get hard. I've had these for like months because I have no reason to go. I usually eat them when I go out drinking. Mm -hmm. And if I go to the club, I pop like a half, which like five milligrams. Yeah. Great night. I'm like, they're just great edibles. I love them. But they, uh, they use like beet, uh, beet sweetener or something. Like really? That. Yeah, and it's a few fruit puree. Yeah, I like the um, raspberry, the Steva ones. Yeah, those are cool. Like, the, the higher I get, the more fucked up my stories are gonna be. We'll edit that last part out. <laughs> <laughs> I got some RSO. Are you familiar with RSO? Like, Simpson oil? Uh, mm -hmm. Rick Simpson oil is pretty gas. Uh, that's some good shit. It's like wax? It's like... Or like the pen oil? No, it's you can, it's activated. You can do basically whatever with it. Oh, the shit he said he wants to put on his tongue or in his fucking Cheerios? That. 
I don't know. I feel like dry bud has always been my thing. Yeah. I smoke pens. I have the um, it's the one that vibrates, the Aero Pro. Mm-hmm. And I like those ones. Those are sick. I got the live resin and stuff, so they're pretty strong. Oh, yeah, live resin is the way to go. I literally only smoke pens, like, in the club or if I'm at the bar because I can't smoke a bowl. Like, I only smoke if I'm with people. Um, if I'm by myself, it's edibles all day. Really? Yeah. Like, What's your like, favorite edible? At the apothecary, there was this 500 milligram chocolate bar <laughs> that was like... I'm sorry. I just don't know how. <laughs> That's so much. I feel like I would die. Um, honestly, it's like... That was a good O. <laughs> it, yeah, it did, right? I take like 22 milligrams at a time. Okay. Yeah, 22 to 40. I used to take edibles every single night I worked for, at the, the clubs and the bars my whole life. How was that? So this one time I took... I was getting the Edit Pure, Eddie Pure from Cali. They used to have like the gummy worms, the Sour Patch Kids, everything. It was the sh- like the best edibles ever. Mm-hmm. So I used to get them shipped to Jersey. And the one time I got, they used to be tens, and then I got twenty fives the next time. So I just Ooh. ate four of them, thinking they were tens. And I was so fucked up. I was working at Providence okay. in Trop, and I was at the main register. And it's a Saturday night, and all I like I hear is like Charlie Brown. This girl asked me for Corona, and it was just like, oh no. And then I went to go get the beer, and the beer cooler was like going back and I'm trying to get it and I was like oh my god so I told like the guy next to me I'm like Brian I'm like please watch my station I'm like do I look like I'm dying he's like no I'm like I'm fucking dying inside I'm like I have to go so I went to the fucking bathroom I chilled with the bathroom attendant I sat in a dark stall (laughs) you gotta just sober yourself up real quick yeah and I did it like probably four times I'm like I'm definitely getting fired tonight my boss has to be watching the camera like where is this bitch keep going (laughs) other than that I have a pretty good experiences with them hmm. but i can't do the cookies and the um sh- like the treats and stuff i feel what? like they're too concentrated and it hits me so hard like it's not a good high for me it's like paranoid it's all about milligrams <coughs> it's all about milligrams how the fuck am i supposed to measure milligrams with rice krispie treats that's true um <laughs> that's what i'm saying you're setting me up for failure times. i don't know <laughs> there's just a lot of ways to get high people dude suppositories no yeah you put it up your ass well, yeah, I mean, they're for uh, women when they have cramps or to like make the orgasm way stronger. A suppository? Yeah. I never knew what it was. I've heard the word. Yeah. Wait, so it's not up your ass? It's up your... <laughs> it can um, be. What is it? Imagine you have a pill that's made to go inside of you. Right. right. <clears throat> but like what's inside of you, it starts like releasing, right? So it'll be releasing THC. So technically, you could put it up your, uh, put it up your pussy and let it sit there. And you have cramps. Yeah, you so have cramps. So suppositories are for girls with cramps? Yeah. Oh, okay. And to help. Yeah, and to, oh, I was associated with assholes. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, that is a thing, though. That is a thing. Yes. Um, I actually gave my girl some CBD pills that are for feminine. Um, yeah. At, like when you get your period, and she was like, they help with my cramps so much. No, so excuse me, before sex. Oh. Um, you take it, wait like 20 minutes, let it dissolve, and then go to town, and... It's way more sensitive. The wow. combat is harder. Interesting. Check it out. I mean, we shove fucking tampons and fucking dicks up us so we can fit a sponsor. Yeah, the is fine. <laughs> and it's THC. It's helping you. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're, we'll have to um, get some up. some products and go through. We'll go through them. Those little grab bags. <laughs> Party bags for everybody. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> That's a thing. That's a thing. Cut it out. All right. Peace out, guys. Peace. See you a little bit. Excuse me. Kiss the sky, what do you intend to kill?